If you have been to a Rubik's Cube competition, you have probably gone on the World Cube Association website, also known as the WCA. But do you know the history behind this? How the WCA unites cubists? How it gives people joy? Well, I wanted this too, so I looked on the World Cube Association website to find out more about the history of itself. So let me tell you it now. In the 1980s, Rubik's Cubes were appearing in media, leading to the organisation World Rubik's Cube Championship. This was not the WCA though. In 1982, the first Rubik's Cube competition was held. Cubing suddenly came to a halt in 1983. This was known as the Cubing Dark Ages. Cubing came back in the mid-1990s because the internet was appearing in a lot of households. This gave cubers a platform to communicate on. In June 2000, Chris Hardwick created Speed Solving Rubik's Cube Group on the internet platform. Yahoo! A month after this, in July 2000, Ron Van Brukem made SpeedCubing.com, an online website that had unofficial records. In 2003, Ron contacted Dan Gosby to organise a Speed Cubing World Championship in Toronto, Canada. This had 89 competitors and was a major success. Vaughan organised the Dutch Open in 2003, trying to gather more European cubers to compete as well. That same year, Tyson Mao entered the cubing scene and got into contact with Shotaru Makasumi to host cubing competitions in California, USA. The first US comps were the Caltech Winter 2004 and Caltech Spring 2004. On the internet platform... <laughs> Speed Solving Group talked about to oversee competitions and have regulations. Then, Tyson Mao and Ron Van Brukem in 2005, as co-founders together, made the World Cube Association, the WCA, as long with its regulations. The logo for the WCA was made in January 2005 when Justin Eastman won a design contest. In July 2005, the first official WCA competition was held in Kyoto, Japan. Reaching for worldwide goals, the WCA comps are now held in all continents except Antarctica since 2014. This has now become something Cubers look forward to. In October 2018, the WCA have officially recognised as a non-profit organisation. It now has 14,000 registered cubers from 143 different countries and has held over 7,000 competitions. This is still growing and unites cubers still today.